us who first read it could understand it, and Danita, who has a PhD in something like... Hematology? Yeah, could not simplify it. She could not write it in a way that the rest of us could understand. So you it never got pass published. You have to a test when it comes to tech articles, because I have zip for a tech or science background. I'm completely zip. If I don't understand it, it ain't going in there. So you have to talk at my level on those. Yes, sir. Two comments. Uh, first of all, on the question of length, write it as long as you think it needs to be, because inevitably, in the editing process, both when you slush it in the bar, and then ultimately, if Paula picks it up and she goes through it, ultimately, it will get tightened up. It will be shorter. Uh, uh, on that <laughs> subject. Um, except uh, mine, which sorry, frequently get longer. Yeah. <laughs> Occasionally, you're told to make it longer. Usually, the comment is, tighten it up. And Paula is really good at telling you where to tighten it up. And that's the thing. Listen to what Paula says. Yeah, listen to what Paula says. Yeah. Paula says. Don't one, other, one, one other note. It'll be longer. Um, well, he had the second point. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. The, the second comment I wanted to make goes back to something that Walt said. Stories are about people. It's not about political, social <coughs> matrices. It's not about technology. It's not about things that go boom. Stories are about people. I wrote 200,000, wrote and sold 200,000 words without a single gunshot or a single death. Which is very rare in our universe. Yeah. But a couple of uh, But it obviously can be done. Burns, but it can be done. <laughs> so it's, you know, it's mm -hmm. technology, <coughs> technology is, uh, initial writers want to jump on technology stories. They want to make the story the about the washing machine. They want to make the story about the steel plow. They want to make the story about, you know, Airship. improved gunsmithing. You have to make it about It has people. to be about the people. Maybe that's a factor in the story. Maybe uh -huh. that's an element in the story. Maybe that's what causes the story to kick off. But if you don't write the story about the people, no one's the gonna bar is going to hammer you, and you're not going to sell. One other thing that uh, about, about voice. Um, we caution people very seriously to avoid first person. Because first person seems like it's really easy to write, mm. but it's not. It's not. It's not easy to do it well. You And, and, and you have to do it well. Um, we strongly recommend that you work with third person and not with the omniscient voice. Um, um, it's just a whole lot easier to write that. And something else that I'll throw out, um, uh, I'm always willing to look at stories or look at ideas and help you. And I'm sure that the rest of us, who, if we have time, are perfectly willing to do that. Yeah, we do have an editorial board for a reason. We all read the stories, and uh, when somebody particularly likes one, they tell me about it, and I go look at it. It's, it we all work together to keep things within mm -hmm. canon and so forth and so Plausible. on. Plausible. So, and there is a lot of help available on Bain's Bar, both in the 1632 slush and the universe slush. I've got a comment on a few different things that have been brought up. On the subject of voice, yes, we've had very few first person that have worked. There have been a couple times, I know, Grand Tour, I think David had one at one time, is that right? No. No, it was. Who was doing the other one that was doing the musicians? Uh, Enrico Toro. Uh, Enrico Toro. Yeah. And, okay. and even those are kind of, because they're epistolar, they're because epistolary. they're better stories, they're not really true first person. And epistolary is also a style that's very hard to bring off. You get a certain distance through doing things as a series of letters. It's tough. Enrico had it. Uh, a couple of other people, but it's a tough style. Yeah, the more, work. the more yeah, distant, I, I, the less. The first story I wrote for Ring of Fire is has, has some epistolary stuff in it, but yeah. it's. I found when I wrote it, I, I originally intended to just write it out of it, be an exchange of letters, and I found that um, I used the letters as the chapter headings, basically, uh, 
and then real people did stuff. Uh, in one of my early s stories, the first draft, I posted um, the one of the comments I got back, I think was from Rick, was along the lines of, you have now shown me just why it is that writing scenes in a library do not work, and the best thing you can lo do is lose about the first third of the story. So that goes to the subject of length. You write it the way you think to get it down the first time, and then you need to start looking at how to tighten it. Um, pretty much beginning in media rests in the m middle of the action is a good idea. Um, bear in mind the feedback. Um, when, you, when you do post on the bar, you're going to get, you're going to get feedback. And the feedback is from a position of, is this a, a sellable work? That's, where the, that's, the, that's the, the point of view of the feedback. Sometimes. Um, if you, you know, it, if you don't understand that, you may take offense at some of the feedback you get. So, some of the feedback you get is going to be offensive anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. These are science fiction nerds, folks. There's no filters um, on who gets to go in and read that. Yeah. Um, Anybody yeah, can go in and read and, and comment. And, and you also have to think about um, is this feedback really going to do something for me uh, or not? And you're perfectly willing to. We do suggest strongly that you wait at least a week before posting the re before responding story. to and and yeah. sometimes before re before responding to uh, the critiques and it's usually a really good idea not to argue with the critiquer because that's not very productive. It's not very professional either. Well, be that as it may, it's just it's not going to help you no. make the story better. Because their opinion is still their opinion. I, my day job happens to be I'm a professional editor, nonfiction, and um, one of the things that will get you not published in my magazine um, is if I come back to you and, and ask you a question and you argue with me about it. You will suddenly become not published. Yeah, because you don't need that. Of course, I'm not as cranky. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, <laughs> but, Paul is. Yeah. Well, you're the editor of that. So that's a different picture than someone commenting Absolutely. on the Absolutely. Still, but the yeah. arguing but is not by productive. Large, they're but not malicious when they're commenting. There, there is an exchange of ideas that is not arguing. That's not what Walt's talking you, about. You may reach, though, a stage in a thread on the bar where you can see that there is not a meeting of the minds between you and a, a, and a commentator. commentator, and you may find that it's more productive to let them have the last word because ultimately the power is in the hands of you as the author and Paula as the editor. The editor. And if, if it bothers Paula and the story is otherwise good, You'll probably hear from her, yeah, you need to fix this. And if it doesn't bother her, then it, there's no point in arguing with this person further on that subject. But the, until it reaches the point, it, it, you, you may find, until it reaches that point, that you, there's something in what that person is saying that needs to be thought about and maybe you won't do what that person wants you to do but there's a, a nugget of something useful there and so keep let the nuggets get extracted but don't don't take anything personal don't take it personal yeah. exactly. um, I want to I want to comment the first the I started reading on the bar and I started reading the, the Grantville Gazette about 10 when you know 10 or 11 when you went online you know it was a, a more regular thing and uh, that's what I, I had seen things on TV that's when I decided okay I want to write about chocolate because I happen to know they don't have chocolate the way they you know the, the way that we would recognize it so I I got some books out I, I did the research what what I found is uh, if you want to sell it on the bar it has to be good you have to have you know adjectives and pronouns you have to put sent you have to put periods in the sentences. You have to pre make sure that if you've written anything, read through it before you put it on the bar. Because the first thing anyone is going to say is this crap is unreadable. It's all one sentence or whatever that kind of thing. So 
you know, do your own editing first. And then don't treat it like your, you know, your firstborn child because it's going to be commented on and moved around and you can't do that because so and so is already this and that. And it's just not, it's not a sacred text. Okay? Um, yeah. Uh, rewriting unfortunately, is a part of writing. unfortunately, it's a very big part of um, being published. Yeah, rewriting. Unfortunately, uh, um, it's disappeared off the bar, and I'm trying desperately to find it. Um, but when Eric opened the universe to other to, to other authors um, for the first Ring of Fire anthology, um, I hadn't written any fiction in about 25 years, and I told him that, and he said, well, why don't you, that's a good time to start. Uh, <laughs> so I picked a character, and I wrote a story, um, and I sent it to him. And he called me up, and he said, how big is your ego? And I said, what do you mean? And he said, um, how big is your ego? How, you know, do you, are you in love with the, with the words in the story? And I said, hell no. I'm an editor. I, I understand this. He says, that's good because I'm going to buy your story, but it's a piece of crap and we're going to rewrite it until you get it right. In public. And then he said, and I want to do it on the bar so that everybody can see how to do it. He made me re rewrite A Witch to Live seven times in public before he was willing to say, okay, it's good enough. Um, so, and you had put all the periods in, and you had oh, yeah. verbs in every sentence. What so. I had <laughs> done... I'm picky about verbs. What I had done was write a decent story, but not a publishable one. And mm -hmm. um, we are all about how to get published, not... Um, what, what is it? We don't do it for the love. Literary Love Society. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we we want to get paid for this. Um, and if you want to get paid for writing science fiction, you came to the right store. Because there's nowhere else that you can get this kind of training. Because there's nowhere else that will let you go through 15 drafts of the story without it being rejected because the team thought that it was worth doing. On Universe Slush, um, recently, um, a story either won or was honorable mentioned for uh, the Writers of the Future contest, and I know it went through at least 15 rewrites on Universe Slush before, before it they got submitted, submitted to, to um, Writers of the Future. But, um, but yeah, one of our intro stories on that was rewritten 14 actual times on Universe Slush, but we published it. And and, and the crits that you're going to get are, this is not a kinder, gentler critique group. I mean, <laughs> It may come across as a little bit rude on occasion. They don't actually mean to be, but as we said, we're all computer science fiction geeks, so... Skills we have Social seen skills are sometimes a bit I, I, We have seen Eric, this dead Eric horse before. That there's no one on the bar that he thinks would be fit for a, an appointment to the court of St. James. <laughs> So, um, but but what you are told there is on the other hand we do prohibit flaming, we right. prohibit obscenity, hitting, yeah. hitting, uh, you know, we're not kindler and gentler, but we try to be civil about the things we say. We try not but, but, to make the, make the other guy pull the gun. Is that, that's, I think that but real. it's also not like tweeting either, where you're, you, know, you put it up there and five minutes later you're going to get feedback. Not always. You may, have, you may have some times where you may have a couple of days before you 